All right, welcome back. I don't know why I decided to try to do this at the last minute, but here it is. I went ahead and tried to do the modifications today for the Gerber Lockdown Pry. Now, the first thing, of course, I had to do is create access for the thumb stud, if we want to call them that, on all four entries. So basically trying to get a place so that I can pull my pull my thumb down and in so I'm pushing up on the thumb stud versus trying to finagle something you know fancy the other thing of course we have to do in addition to this is we have to dramatically cut down on the strength of that liner lock because man it's very very strong because it's so short and the steel is very thick now I probably should have done a better job splitting the steel but I'm pretty happy with it. Um, on top of that, you can see all the marks. So I figured, why not go ahead and use the Ken Onion Blade Grinder and give it a nice finish. So there we go. All right, here we are. So hopefully this works, but sometimes it does not. We're gonna find out together. So I obviously marred it up a little bit when I was cutting out these, these inserts. So what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and just added some sort of finish that made it look like it was sort of meant to be. Now, of course, this is aluminum and this is cast steel. So we're going to see if I can put this together without making too much of a, you know, of myself. And uh, yeah, we'll see how many mistakes we make. Let's get to it. So at this point, I'm not 100% sure what I did wrong here. The, but the inner side, which is where the blade side is, the problem is is that even with that, it's still quite tight. Now, let's see if I loosen this a little bit, because I think I tightened that down a lot. Can I deploy the blade one-handed? Yes. So at least that is fixed. So let me take this part apart one more time and figure out why I can't... See, I can actually get access to the blade now. Now, what I can't figure out is why all this is going on. So, we'll figure that out, and then uh, we'll get back to this in just a second. Okay, were we successful? I guess that's the question. It's not perfect. It's still quite difficult to grip. And even though I've elongated those, those spring bars, it's still quite strong. But can it be done? 
yeah, compared to what it was before, it's a big improvement. I'm afraid I'm still going to have to do something in this area to pro to get it to um, to grip. And you can see that now I actually have some exposure I can actually press against. It's doable. It's it's doable. I don't think there's a detent problem. I think there's an exposure problem with the with the pin. I can't get enough of this material. It just doesn't make sense. Why would you go through the effort of attaching these bars when you could have just made thumb studs, right? You could have just put thumb studs on here and just screwed them in. They could have elongated a little bit past. You could have been able to remove them, you know, so you could sharpen the blade a little bit better. You know, logical things. I think it looks really cool now. And uh, I can actually deploy thing, everything one-handed. I've also went ahead, and if you look, I bent the tip of the of the spring ever so slightly so that when it does go out like this, that little bend is enough to push it out of the way and always allow the scissors to engage. The other thing I did is make the tip of the scissors a little bit sharper. I think the scissors actually work quite well. And uh, let's see, can I, can I open this one reverse flick? Yes, I can. I can get to the utility blade through reverse, but you're still going to have to use two hands to close it. These are very strong springs. The scissors have no problem. The blade is still a little bit difficult, but all in all, I, I think I did a decent job. Um, these changes, cutting into the uh, liner locks and also making the, the thumb studs exposed. The real solution here would have been better thumb studs. You know, they have this weird angle, but in fact, if they were, you know, all the way the same as tight here as they were back there, they would be better. If they were one, you know, round pin, it would be better. There's just, there's just many ways to do this better. I just, uh, yeah. At least I can prove that what I thought was the problem was the problem. So I hope this was useful to somebody somewhere down the line. If you ever get a hand, your hands on a Gerber lockdown, hopefully this will help uh, in describing what the problems are and how you can fix them yourself. Unfortunately, they won't be fixable as is by the tool. I mean, there's it's just too many issues with it. I'm glad I got to prove that I could fix it and that what I thought was the problem was the problem. So thanks for tuning in and uh, hopefully we'll be starting a new modifying series really soon. Take care guys.